Hi, in this video I'll show you how to work with the plugins short codes. So, go to the its documentation which you can find uh, on this file uh, on this site for commercefilter.com. Press documentation. Then go to the short codes. So, there is two main short codes in the plugin Woof and Woof products. So, Woof it's created for uh, outputting search form and Wolf products for outputting uh, products layout. So, let's just copy this and test it. So, I created new tester page, drop the short codes. I remove some attributes which doesn't need now. And here it is the result. So, we have big search form and uh, we have output results. I already did searching here. So, for example, we doesn't uh, like that we we have on the layout only three columns. Let's change it to four. Let's refresh. Yes, four. Uh, one moment. Uh, this attribute doesn't uh, depends on the plugin. It depends only on the layout, and if uh, your uh, current WordPress them allows you to set, for example, six columns, six columns, it will be working. But if doesn't, we will you will never see the six columns. So in this case, it's supported. In some of them, is you can set four, or uh, no, you can. In some of them, you can set six. But it, can, uh, but, uh, it will be stay with four columns. Just now it works. It's uh, default for them. One of the default. Work. So per page, per page, it's a parameter which means uh, how many uh, products output for one page. <laughs> it's it, it's a jacks. So for example, just now we if we press any search uh, in any HTML element in the search form. We can see that it's working with a redirect model. So, what about if you want to use a JAX? So, in the Wolf products, short code just said is a JAX one. Let's refresh. Let's press this color. So, just now working in a JAX. Uh, by the way, it's working more fast because there is not n necessary to reload all the pages. So Ajax is working. Auto hide. For example, uh, we want when uh, when the this page is loading, we don't want to see that the uh, uh, search form is appearing. We want to see any button which will be pressed, and only uh, after that action, this search form will be appearing. So in this case, we have to s set out of height to one. Okay. Uh, so here it is. By the way, this button, as we remember from the first video, uh, we can change in the design options. One moment. Auto filter, filter, close open image. So this image can be changed by any of your image. So, okay, it works. And what is uh, last parameter here is uh, seed auto short coder. What does it mean? Auto short coder will uh, it means that will be applied default uh, KSS styles for the search form. So let's set zero here, and let's set. For example, my my auto short codes. Of course, it doesn't exist, but you see that all styles have been removed. Uh, so how it is useful? For example, you are a developer and you doesn't like how it looks, how it looks uh, on the front. You can say here seed any your seed and another your new KSS styles will be generated. Look, let, let's look on the 
code of this search form. Look, we have this container with woof seed my auto short code. So using CSS you can style it as you want. Let's consider another another attributes we have. For example, taxonomies. Taxonomies is very important attribute. For example, you created the page. Uh, you won't have a lot of pages and each page will be represent only one taxonomy of your shop. So how to realize it? Just using use this attribute. Let's copy and paste it here and here. Remember, it should be pasted in the two places, in the shortcode woof and in the shortcode woof products. Okay, so uh, I'm not sure about its term. What does it mean? Product cat, it's a mean taxonomy which will be shown on this page, but which term should be displayed? Uh, nine. Let's check it that we have nine term ID. Okay, what does it mean taxonomies? Let's display only products uh, products of the of the for example this woman category. Let's cop let's copy this tag ID sixty six and change it. Refresh the page. Refresh the page too. Um, one moment. So now we can see only products of women category. Very simple. Okay, what we have more? Uh, custom TPL. Uh, look on these others. So we have folder thems, current folder of the current folder of the current WordPress them, and any created PHP file there with its output. So, for example, if you're a developer and you decided to create uh, to create your own output for the products, you can go to the thems, your current uh, your current them folder, and uh, for example, I created this file to show to show essential grid. Products layout, uh, but but uh, this feature not obsolete. Maybe it's useful, but I can recommend use special extensions. You can find on the WooCommerceFilter.com extensions. So download this template one. For example, let's go and download it. TPL one zip OK and uh, next go to the extensions. Look, create folder for custom extensions in the VP content folder. Uh, yes, we should go to the advanced options and create, for example, this folder. Let's check it. Folder home my doesn't exist or not writable or doesn't exist. Of course, we just created it, uh, only its uh, its options, but folder didn't create it. Let's do it by FTP. So enter the your site web content folder and let's create folder for our. extensions just in this folder let's go to the settings refresh okay just now we can see that we can install custom extension installation so uh, one uh, one of the first uh, extensions we just downloaded and we can for example look how it works uh, short code of products with this template which was uh, which was created as extension choose an extension 
TPL. Okay. So, uploading is going just uh, instantly and with JX. Just check ten, ju just check its checkbox here. Save changes. So, instead of custom TPL, use this attribute which is TPL in the TPL index. Let's go to our short code, drop this, and as you remember, let's copy this TPL1. Okay, update. Update. So, now you can see another layout, and you can create it. Uh, any uh, and you can use any layout you want. You just need find its HTML and create the, th the same extension by this example. By this example, there is nothing something fantastic. Just uh, HTML, CSS, and one uh, one WordPress post loop. So let's go further. <coughs> Uh, price filter it's obsolete and will be removed. Taxonomy is just reviewed. Additionally, tax only and buy only. Uh, what about if you want to show on this page um, only, for example, for example, color, color, and search by text. And how to remove all other? Of course, it can be done by CSS, but it's not good way because it's working dynamic recounted for each, uh, each element. It's uh, not very, um, it's not the best decision. So, to show only, only search by text, we should apply by only attribute. Let's copy this. drop it and look by text let's copy this then tax only so what is here uh, I remember this attribute with the slug pair a underscore color. Okay, let's write it. Update. Update. So just now we save filter that with elements we selected. And it still works. Oh well, for example, what is it? Red bot bar. So we just found one product of color red and with its name, but okay, let's go further. Redirect. What does it mean? Redirect. For example, we have an idea that on this page should be only search form, search form, and after and after uh, and after and when users press button filter it should redirect to any another page of our site we will see its uh, its results of course we just we just copy this redirect drop it and write here any any link on this way let's check it I don't remember it's created this page but anyway, it will be working. So reset. Oh, one moment. It's a JAX. It should be refreshed. Let's press it. Ah, oh, one moment. It doesn't work with the JAX model. So, because a JAX means that we're working on the same page uh, using JavaScript. So, it's never working with a JAX. And the redirect works only with the uh, in the redirect model, uh, 
and uh, one moment. If we will, uh, let me update the page. If uh, we have just now auto submit, so when we press white, for example, it will be redirected instantly. Look, so we have results here. But to avoid it, let's user select all its uh, options. Drop this attribute auto submit and set zero. Refresh the page. And for example, user uh, decided find red product with word but. Let's go. So we can see the same product as it was in the previous example. It works fine and it's uh, uh, all the results uh, presented on this link. So redirects works fine. By the way, the plugin has a little uh, more short codes, more additional short codes. So woof text filter. Let's consider this filter. Let's one moment. Let me show this too. Just to disable its functionality, it will be displayed as text just now. Update because I want to show you how it works only with text filter and not with update. Yes, I disabled this so you can see this as text. So, what, the, what we can see only text input search. The same you can get if you will write here none in the tags only. Let me remove redirect. And by only by text. So let's let's consider both variants. Yes, all they generated the same. Uh, this short code was created before before this new attributes with which which was appeared only in the version of the plugin 2.1.4. Uh, but uh, of course, I can recommend to use only Woof because it's more flexible. But if you want to display only text input, just use this uh, simple short code. The same Woof school filter displays only school filter. Woof price displays only Woof price. Uh, Woof other role displays other role. And all, uh, all of course, can be uh, generated by Woof, Woof short code with this attribute. And Woof search options, it's a uh, red label buttons. For example, if you want to disable it in the plugin settings and drop it somewhere in uh, another place, let's copy this and. Uh, Drop it here, for example. No, no, drop it on the bottom of the layout. I'll refresh the page. Of course, it's not appearing else because there is no search request else. Let's write but. But, and under products layout, we can see this search navigation panel. So, this is all. See you. Bye.